So we are on our way up to Dow Crag. First time back in the lake since lockdown. We've chosen a much quieter route this time because obviously we want to remain socially distant and we want to respect the locals um, who have asked us, you know, not necessarily to stay away but just to respect the land. Um, so there's going to be no littering, obviously, we leave no trace every time anyway. Um, Stan is a very respectful dog, we pick up his mess. Um, we're not choosing any challenging routes that we can't handle. We've got the, all the equipment that we need, it's a fairly, it's a fairly easy walk, albeit a bit steep. stop um Polly wanted a sandwich she's deserved it, it was quite a hard climb to get up here and um, so we've got another climb that way which I'll show you in a second uh, up to Dow Crag so we're going to have a sandwich just the one and we're going to get up there Polly anything you want to add Stan anything you want to add anything you want to add So for those of you that didn't know, these little spots of water that are kind of like hidden around in the lakes, um, they're not actually lakes, they're called tarns. Um, and most of the ones in the Lake District have got names like the mountains, like the lakes as well. Um, this one is called Blind Tarn. Now, if it was a nicer day, I'd probably go for a swim in it, but it's, it's a bit cold, so I'm not gonna bother. Polly might go for a swim though. Yeah. Give, give us uh, give us five minutes and I'll, I'll be in. Five minutes and she's in. There you go. You heard it here. So over there. That's where we've just come from. So we've just had our little sandwich break. How you doing? Okay. When we're hiking, I get a bit more conversation out of Polly than we do when I'm running. Yeah. Not much though. <laughs> Especially when she's climbing, she's got a bit out of breath. She's one way dancers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Polly gets, well, Polly won't be grouchy anymore because you've got some food on here. Polly can get grouchy when she's tired and hungry, but you're all right now, aren't you? A lot better, yeah. See, lots better. She's at a tuna sarni. Hi, gents. Oh my God, do you know who that was? In the yellow, that's, uh, that's Paul Tierney. Now Paul uh, holds the current record for running all of the 214 Wainwrights in one consecutive go. And I've just seen him and he's just, uh, he's only about 10 minutes ahead of me at Dow, at Dow Crag. So I think, I think we're doing all right. <laughs> down there and there's the sheep just there he's doing very well I'm very proud of him well done Stan there's a good boy here he comes hello 
and bye. <laughs> Stop eating poo, Stan. You're on camera. Aye, don't bar us now. That way. Don't judge me. We're four miles down. Um, probably gonna have stop and have lunch in about ten minutes uh, at the bottom of this valley here. This looks like a nice spot for lunch. One thing I need to mention is this. So although this is just a little cheap dog backpack harness thing from Amazon, it was like 15, 20 quid. I didn't expect it to last long, but I expected it to last longer than an hour. Um, so going at the side of a, you know, just kind of scraping against a rock, he's, he's split it, quite a big hole. So obviously I wouldn't put anything valuable in there. Um, the good thing is, is that Stan was quite comfortable wearing it. Um, so when I come and do my longer hikes, like when I want to do the Loch Ness 360, which is 80 miles around the you know, Loch Ness, um, and other such hikes, Stan's going to need to pull his weight and carry some stuff. So I plan on getting them a better, a better one. I've got a few that I've seen. Um, and then this little geezer can start start carrying these old stuff can you soon <laughs> I still don't know if this is C3 Torn. Um, unless you hear from me again saying that I've found C3 Torn, this is it. <laughs>